What up folks, Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech. Welcome to this five minute Friday video. And in this one, I'm gonna show you how to use pretty much any shape you like as a cutout for your gaming webcam or picture in picture footage like I'm doing right here. It's super quick, super easy. I'm gonna do it from directly within the edit tab of DaVinci Resolve 17. You do need to be on DaVinci Resolve 17 to use this method. Now you will also need a PNG file of the shape that you want. To help get you started, I've actually created a bunch of basic examples which you can download for free from the link down in the description below. Or you can just head to Google, type the shape you want followed by PNG and generally they're pretty easy to find. So with that out of the way, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you what's what. So here we are within DaVinci Resolve and we're on the edit tab. So I've imported my basic shapes, as you can see in my media pool here, and we've got the other footage in there ready to go as well. Now I'm going to assume that you want your gaming footage or whatever footage it is down here on video track one. So we're going to put our webcam footage above using video tracks two and three. So the first thing we want to do is just to grab our shape. So I'm just going to go with this hexagon and we're going to bring this down onto video track number two and then just release. Then we just need to drag it to be as long or as short as we need it to be. Then we're going to grab our webcam footage or our picture in picture which for me is this one here, and we're gonna drag this down onto video track number three. Now what you need to do is to click on your video track on video track number three, like so, so it's highlighted in red. Open up the inspector, top right hand corner, come down to composite, click on the word composite if you don't see the composite modes underneath, like so, and then click on normal, scroll down, and change that to be foreground. It will look like nothing's changed, but don't worry. Come down to your shape underneath on video track number two, same thing, click it so it's highlighted in red, open up the inspector once again, composite, composite mode, and then change that to be alpha. And ta-da, it will automatically do that cut for you. Our webcam footage will be in the middle, and these black areas on the left and right are actually transparent. So if I put some footage underneath, you can see that we have our cutout and it's all done and ready to go. Now what I like to do here is to just rearrange things do some transforms to make sure that everything lines up as you want it. So I'm gonna give my video footage at the top a click. I'm gonna click on this little transform, no, just underneath the preview window, like so. And then I can just transform this. I can zoom in, zoom out, get it looking as I want it. So I'm gonna go with something like that. And then once I'm happy with both the size of the shape itself and the footage within, highlight them both on the timeline just by clicking and dragging so they're both highlighted in red right click and then choose new compound clip, give it a name and then click create. And that'll just bundle those two bits of footage together like so. Then it's much easier to resize and put it in the right location. So again, we're gonna give that compound clip a click. Using the transform, we can just make this smaller, put it up in the corner like so. And then if we hit play, we've got a real simple picture in picture with a shape like so. Dead quick and dead easy. Now if you want to change the shape or make any changes to it, don't worry, it's dead easy to do. On the compound clip on the timeline, just right click, click on decompose in place, and that will revert it back to its original form. So we've got our shape and our video above there. So I'm just gonna delete this hexagon. This time let's grab the button. We'll lengthen this out. We'll give it a click, we'll change the composite mode to alpha, and there we go. We'll highlight them both, turn them into a compound clip once again, and then we can resize and put it wherever we want. And there you go, it's as easy as that. That's how to use basic shape PNGs to do webcam masks on the edit page within DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you found this useful, please do give me a thumbs up. If you've got any thoughts or feedback, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you're new here, you did enjoy this video, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Thanks for watching, folks. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.